Well, geospatial mapping has helped Singapore authorities identify Bukit Merah View Market and Food Centre as a key hub for the spread of COVID-19. It is a technology that analyzes data using geographical information. As leading reports, it's also being used to help curb further transmission. This used to be a thriving hub for residents. It's now a ghost town after it emerged as the heart of a COVID-19 outbreak in Bukit Merah. Authorities are now using geospatial mapping to keep further virus transmissions at bay. This triggered the need then for further swab testing operations to assess the degree of spread. We have uh, uh, since initiated swab operations at various locations in the Bukit Merah and Tiong Bahru area in order to identify uh, staff, visitors who are at increased risk of exposure. The locations include Block 116 and 117 Bukit Merah View, an NTUC outlet at Lengkok Bahru, Red Hill Market and Food Centre, Tiong Bahru Plaza and retail outlets at Red Hill Lane and Red Hill Close. Authorities are also watching for other clusters nearby, including Eng Hoon Street and Eng Wat Street in Tiong Bahru. As for what sparked the Bukit Merah View cluster in the first place, there are some clues. On a typical day, there will be long queues here during lunch and dinner. People would have to queue up to 30 minutes at some popular stalls and could be standing close to each other. Now, stallholders and visitors also shared common facilities such as toilets. Those could have been some of the ways the virus was spread among those who visited the market. Several COVID-19 cases worked at sundry stalls at the market. The risk is not specific to uh, hawker centres. It's uh, related to the nature of the activity, which is mask off while uh, you are eating. And therefore, it also applies to restaurants. And uh, specific, more uh, specifically for the particular cluster, uh, Bukit Merah view, uh, the uh, a, po a significant portion of the cluster actually are not in the food section. They are in the uh, retail shops uh, selling uh, non-food items. So the cluster itself is not specifically related to hawkers. Of the 56 cases in the cluster, 21 work at the market or food centre and 13 are visitors. 22 are close contacts of those who visited the affected locations. Half of the people in the cluster are not vaccinated. Nearly a third are fully vaccinated. The rest have yet to get the full protection from their jabs. This does uh, uh, support the view that vaccination does protect you and reduce the risk of you getting infected, as opposed to those who are not vaccinated. The Bukit Merah View market is set to be closed till June 26.